Well, good morning, friends. It's Tracy from Nova Scotia Living. Violet, Mally, and Kara are out in the van. We just stopped to the other house because I wanted to make a fire. Let me turn you around. Today is Friday, and the cleaning lady is coming for four hours today, but I thought I'd come over, pop over, and make a fire for her because it's, it's chilly. Nobody lives in this house, and I want to make it at least a little bit of a heat source going on. It is a rainy day. It's Friday is exciting and we're gonna go to Tam because I need to get some paint and I just thought I'll do this she also wanted appliances pulled out they're on wheels so I got the stove and the fridge with their help but the dishwasher is screwed in so I'm like gonna say screw it we're not gonna mess with that but anyways so yeah I need to go I wanted to come here before she did I'm gonna message her and let her know I'll leave the door unlocked so she can just get in and yeah, I just want to make sure this fire takes and yeah, we'll be good. All right, guys, we're at Tim Hortons, but the line is crazy long. So Mally's going in and there's home hardware. That's where we're going after. I was going to stop to the dollar store. I know Mazai wants me to get Jolly Ranchers for some friend, like as a present. It's not really a friend, but a classmate that, you know. She wanted to give him something. And she wants a bag of Doritos. But there is something else I can't remember. That's driving me insane. But anyways, we made good time. I messaged that cleaning lady to say, oh, I'm leaving the door unlocked. There's a fire made. Oh, light bulbs. That's it. That's it. Because uh, some of the, well, the front room and the dining room don't have light bulbs in it. And if she's cleaning, I mean, she can still clean in the dark. But, I mean, it's better to be able to see going to just get the rinky dink dollar store light bulbs i'll swing back by there put them in and then we'll uh go on our merry way home for when papa arrives because he's going to come out and help me sand some of the window sills and baseboards so all right dad got here as soon as i got here and he's already taken taken over the show but that's all right we laid down the plastic things and stuff Okay. More, but I don't... Yeah, more there and there. 
Yeah. When you do it, I'll just show you. So I'm a little. But she, uh, she plays like that, you gotta tip it. friends it's 10 there goes dad 10 39 dad just left we sanded all here we went up and pat repatched the holes in Mazaya's room like just put more of that stuff on where it needed to be and i swept i vacuumed i'm about to mop the wood just because and i'm gonna have to wipe down stuff like like there's dust and well, you probably can't see, but yeah, all up here. You know what I mean? I need to wipe it down. So, um, yeah. Anyways, the floors are driving me crazy. I got to do that. So let's boogie. <laughs>
All right, that's done. Um, I'm gonna sit down and rest a little bit. That sand and job, geez. That, uh, that took quite a bit of time, didn't it, Violet? I'll wait for the floor to dry and then I can push the stuff back and then we can vacuum, but uh, I gotta put you down. Oh. I'll take you off. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do for supper. It's Friday. I'm kicking myself for using that freezer meal yesterday. <laughs> we had shepherd's pie. There's none left. I wish I had. I mean, I have another shepherd's pie in the freezer, but no. Um, I think I got a package of hamburger in the fridge, so I could whip something up. I wonder if I have a taco kit or I could make chili. Or, I don't know. But right now, I'll go get a carbonated water. And we'll sit down. And wait for the floor to dry. But that's fantastic. That's done. So on Monday, we'll have that room all done. Because we plan on painting all the baseboards, the doorways, and the window frames. And then that room will be done. And then... Dad said, I get a kick out of him, that day we'll go up and sand the holes that we patched. Probably not with the sander because it's on plaster wall, but um, we'll do that and whatever. I could, he said I probably could tape the top of the baseboards, but I think I'll hold on that and give it another day of the blue paint to dry. I mean, this is day two. I'm sure it's dry, but just to be sure. And then I'll put blue tape on the top of the baseboards and then they'll be ready to be painted so anyways I'll be back in a bit and yeah see what see what we can get up to all right guys I'm still sitting down it's 11 46 but delivery guy just came to my door got a couple books but I'm not opening those now I think this is a something for Misha I ordered from Wish. It's hit and miss with Wish. Sometimes it's like really not very good stuff and other times it's good. But I got her a pair of shoes a couple of Christmases ago, sparkly little blue ones, and she's outgrown them. So I got her some more and they were from Wish and they were really good shoes. I mean, she would just wear them for dress up or special occasions or something. But look at these babies. little high heels aren't they beautiful and they have I mean they're not the greatest quality but they they serve the purpose it's velcro like they're kids shoes and there's a little heel I got her a couple pairs actually because they were really cheap but they have like a little dangly thing there I just wished wish they weren't so squished right now but there she is like she likes to wear little things like that just around the house she'll wear them and oh violet she doesn't know what i'm doing i think i got her two or three pairs i forget now different colors of course my other girls aren't into all this stuff so <laughs> i'm gonna take advantage while i can Oh, for goodness sakes, I should have got some scissors. This one's wrapped up real good. Look at that. It's like in a pillow. Oh, look at that. <laughs> well, that's fantastic for shipping something. <laughs> Blown up with air. These seem, um, now I think these are both the same size. These look a little smaller though. Um, look at these beauties. Sparkly. And you can see, kind of looks like a butterfly. Kind of. She's going to be styling and profiling, and that has a little moon and star there, too. And I don't know if you can see, there's different color gems in this little bow, too, with that pearl. 
Ooh, one more Christmas present off my list. And this came with, it must come off sometime, uh, like replacement heel pads, like those. So that's fantastic. Well, that's exciting. I'm glad I got them because, yeah, like I say, I've gotten some shoes, boots from Wish, and they were good. I got my big kettle that's on my wood stove. That was from Wish, and that's good. I have got some clothes from Wish, not so good. Um, I got, what else did I, have I gotten there? I don't shop, shop Wish very often, but... To buy these on Amazon they're a lot more expensive and I've gotten like keychains and different things like character anime ones and stickers and um yeah so anyways they just came I thought the red ones for like kind of Wizard of Oz and then the silver ones uh, just just because just because so that's good, but I like this. I might save this for something. Not to take up space, but if I ship something to Medea or something sometime. I don't know. Maybe. But that's cute. Anyways, I just thought I'd show you that. did that I wiped down the windowsills too and I vacuumed it here so I know I showed you that yesterday or the day before but <laughs> uh and she's already gotten into her toys already but anyways that's good those face cloths that were on the piano when we were sanding I'm gonna rewash them because I'm sure they're dusty but it's raining it's raining yep oh all right, well, I just made a pot of tea. I just was talking to my husband. He's coming home today, which will be good. He hasn't been home for a week, so the kids will be excited. It's 12.48 now. I think I'm gonna do hot dogs because I got hot dogs in the fridge. I just took these out of the freezer, hot dog buns, and I'll make a couple boxes of Kraft Dinner. It's gonna be a garbage supper, but it's gonna be one that they'll eat, and it's Friday, and that's what we're doing. So I'm having some Tetley cozy cinnamon tea it's probably not done yet but I have a parcel to open and I have another parcel that I might wait till the kids get home to open um all the way from Texas I believe or is this one from Texas I have one to open here uh, I don't know I'm just trying to see I don't know. Anyways, um, I brought out, I just grabbed one of my girls. Um, it's just that kind of day. My chair is squeaky, but look at that. Look at that. She has gold up around her top, and you can see it's not like a complete smooth top. Little ripples there. She has a gold belt and a gold slipper with that big band of red um, there. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, and on her arm, she has gold down this side and this side, but not on her elbow. But I really like the top. See the little zigzags like a thunderbolt? Yeah, and then her skirt or pedestal. Here again, it's not complete. Straight edge. And the double bands of gold there. Three. Three bands. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. And she is from Paragon, H&M, the Queen, and H&M, Queen Mary, Finebone, China, England, registered 
56484-1x. So I can smell the tea. It smells like cinnamon. That's good enough for me. But I don't have a fire going today. Maybe we'll get one going later on, but I just thought I'm going to have a pot of tea. Oh, that's hot. Oh, that's really hot. <laughs> God. I had my kettle over on the stove. I filled it up too much, so when it started screeching, it was spouting out of the actual spout. But anyway, so when I open this, I might do a teacup book chat after this. I've read a bunch of books and haven't put a video up in like a week. So on my other channel, Tea Time with Tracy and Violet. I don't know where my scissors are. God. Just wrapped up tighter than a drum. nest. Does it say on the back here where it's from? I think this is from, yeah, Houston, Texas. From Amanda. L. Amanda? What the heck? Let's see what's in here. It's heavy. This is quite heavy. Two Tracy and family from Amanda. I suppose I should have waited for that, but I got it this far open. I'm opening it. Oh. Must be opening this long. today. There, something smells good in here. Oh. Oh. Okay, there's a card in here. Let's do the card first. Tracy, it smells good. Every day is a place we've never been before. Oh, there's a nice note in here. Hope today you enjoy looking back on all your achievements and looking forward to many new adventures. Happy birthday from Amanda in Texas. Uh, happy, happy birthday. Hopefully it didn't get to you too late. Well, it's a... It's fine. It's fine. And then there's another little note here. Oh... I also put that I make all vegan organic for you and the kids. All right. And she has a business card here. Sunset Soapery at Sunset Soapery. Texas Sunset Soaper Soaps. That's what's smelling so good. I think she made a bunch of soaps. Oh, look at this one. I think it might have been a unicorn, but the horn might have popped off, but that's okay. But she says everything is here, all vegan and organic. And she herself has some skin issues. That's why she started making her own soaps. She sells them online and a few niche market slash shops. But I'm gifting them to you. Well, thank you so much, Amanda. I'll put, um, it's texassunsetsoaps at gmail.com is her email at Texas Sunset Soaps on Facebook. And um, I'll put her information down below. So if any of you are interested, but she made this. Look at the detail in Maine. I don't know if you can 
C, but this one is Peppermint, handcrafted with love by Texas Sunset Soap, 25 amps. Ooh, Peppermint. Let's see. Oh, I just see she has little Texas stickers. Oh my goodness, this looks like ice cream or something, like the moon mist. What? Look at this. It's The soap holder is actually made out of soap. I don't know whether it's a holder or it's just all together. That looks amazing. Look at the colors. It looks like moon mist or something like that. and has one of those beautiful Texas State stickers. That's awesome. So there's two, two in that package. This one doesn't have the thing out of it, but it has nice swirls up there. All organic and natural. And it doesn't bother her skin. I would try it first before I let anybody else try it. I don't know if I'd use it on Maze right now, just because he's very sensitive, but um, I would try it. And what does that say? Mm, minty bars. M M M I N T Y. Minty bars. This one just says sample bars. I love the little bags. Cute. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. That's beautiful. Oh, it smells good too. Really good. That you put a popsicle stick in that. It looked like some sort of colorful popsicle. And then she has a little star one. A heart one. And another heart one. Oh, I need to get a nice little container to put these in. But yes, you guys should check out our Facebook at Texas Sunset Soaps. I will check it out. I'll subscribe to your page. Um, Ursula McFly, that would be me on there. Just so you know. This almost looks like a bath bomb. This has the, well, let me show you. Look at that. Uh, olive oil, coconut oil, distilled water, canola oil, shea butter, castor oil, sodium hydroxide, fragrance slash essential oils, coconut milk, uh, oatmeal, kaolin oil, mica, Colorant may also contain activated charcoal and sea salt. Shimmer slash glitter net weight 33 ounces. Handcrafted with love. I don't know if that's a bath bomb or not. It feels like it might be. Just drop some water on it, see if it fizzes. And then this feels like soap. That might be soap too. There's the sticker. I love the the uh, textured rough edges and then there's one more oh this might be one i could use on him unscented biodegradable glitter glycerin soaps uh, Glitter, oh, glitter doesn't stay on skin. There must be glitter. Oh, yeah, there is. You might not be able to see, but there's little sparkles in there. But it's unscented. This is a nice smooth edge. What, like a, oh, there might be two in here. Yeah, there's two little soaps. Two. Great. Bare naked, unscented, uncolored soap. So this is what it would look like. She didn't put coloring in it. Has those Rocky Mountain kind of 
rustic edges there, but does the same trick as this, only this has color and this doesn't. Well, thank you so much, Amanda. This is wonderful. I'm always open to trying new things. I just need to be careful with soaps and lotions and, you know, things like that. But organic, vegan, I would try it myself. And I mean, I'm not worried about Mally or Messiah. You know, their skin is not sensitive in regards to like how mine is and me's and Marquise are and Medea is, but Medea is not here. But yes, we will absolutely try this and make sure you check her out online if you're interested. But it smells heavenly and it seems like it's good quality and I'll give it a whirl. So yeah, that's quite a bit of soap. Excellent. I only had like what, one sniff off of this? But I do have um, another box out there. And I just wanted to wait till the kids got home to open that one. So I probably won't have tea with that one. But anyways, we'll open that a little later on. All right, guys, I did another book chat. I've done two. <laughs> I have books to catch up on. This was a duet one that I did. One of those dark romance ones. Oh. <sighs> So I got some editing to do, Lucy, but I won't now. It's 1.48. Yeah, I'm doing hot dogs and craft dinner today. I am. I am. So I'm still not done my pot of tea. I could do another video. What other book did I read? Oh, I read a couple of, I don't know. I won't get into books, but. Do you guys know Cressley Cole or the Immortal After Dark series? If you do, if you know, you know. Anyway, she's coming out with a new book in January, January, January 25th. So I've been rereading that series. I read the first two books this month. And they're paranormal romance. And I'm trying to read the whole series. I don't know. There's like 11 or 12 books. Maybe more. I don't know. I want to read them all before that new one comes out. I already pre-ordered it, it on the Kindle app. I want to get the paperback for sure. But that wasn't available to pre-order. But I'm reading that mother January 25th. I can guarantee I'm not going to bed until I'm done that book. I'm sure. She's like my soft spot when it comes to reading. Like I can just fall into the immortal after dark realm world. Ours first and just roll around on the ground and just devour it all. So anyways, I could do talks about that, but I won't right now because my teapot's almost done and it's 10 to four. I forget if I have laundry in the wash. I forget, I forget. But when the kids get home, um, we'll open that parcel. I'll wait probably till Mally gets home too. She might not want to be in the thing, but it's nice for her to stand back and at least watch it happen. So anyways, I'll be back. All right, guys, I got one of my book chat videos edited. It's exporting, then I can click it to upload. The kids should be home any second now. I brought those shoes upstairs to hide. And yeah, I'll start making supper after they get home and stuff. But yeah. All right, they're coming in the door now. How was school? Did you? No. I already know the question. You do. Did you fall back in your chair? Hey! Violet, stay in the house right now. So. You buy the paint? Yes. Which one? The one with the sticker on top. This one? Yeah. We can't open it now. What? Yeah. Yes, we need to fill up the wood box and then you can have another one of those things. All right, I'm getting the kids to fill up the wood box because it's. You got two on the same hand. Yeah. You must have had a cold hand, did you? Yeah. All right, you go help fill up the box. I'll start making some sup. Perfect. Make sure you line them up good. 
All right, well, they're filling up the wood box. I got a pot of water on there. And my husband bought a case of Kraft Dinner from Costco like a month ago. I just cracked it open. The boxes are shaped a little different than the ones you buy in grocery stores here. So it's like a box and a half or something. So I'm making two of these. And yeah, 50% more KD, so a box and a half. So two of them should be equivalent to three boxes of Kraft Dinner. And I got enough mouths to feed. That'll do. And I'll cook the hot dogs right in the same pot as the Kraft Dinner noodles. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Saves on dishes. And... It does all the same thing. Whatever. Yes, you are. Maze is coming up with the last piece. Oh, Violet, well, you're going to get a treat, too. Oh, yeah, you take her for a quick pee. Oh, here he comes. You guys need your daily fair share. We just need one more piece, Maze. That's all it needs. Be careful. You put it in there where it goes. Be careful. Careful. There's only one more left. Excellent. Perfect. We're good for the weekend. Yes, that's correct. Violet's having her treat. Uh, Maze is home and he wants to watch a WWE, the history of the well, championship. We it's because we didn't uh, finish like, the whole day. Yes. So we got to turn the TV on. Yeah, All right. Hot dog and craft dinner soup. Anybody? No. I just pick out the hot dogs before I strain the noodles so the noodles don't stick to the hot dogs. But it's fine. It's fine. Love you, Zai. Maze is reading all the matches he's putting on new. Christian Ben. Chris. Ben. Benoit. John Cena versus Chris Jericho versus uh, Christian. Yep. Yeah, the first one is Triple H versus Cactus Jack. Yeah, so. Is that the one you want to watch? Yep. All right, put her in. I press that. I know. It's like when Lisa press OK, like. Mm. Ten times and I did it first try. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mish, put your boots in the porch. <laughs> oh, show them your earrings. These used to be mom's earrings, Christmas ones. Jingle, jingle. Yeah, just a second, bub. Here, I'll do it. I got the remote. What was it that you required? I already got your tape. Yesterday. I have $4,000. Oh, you have $4,000? Jeez, can I get a loan or what? Well, I need to buy stuff. Oh, well, Dad's coming home this weekend. Hustle him into taking he, you to the store. He said he was coming home. He said he was coming today. Yeah. Well, it's the weekend now. You're done school. Hmm. Anyways. All right, guys, I just trained the... Craft dinner, took out the hot dogs. Let's get that on Nisha. Looking for the butter. Oh, there it is. I don't follow the directions. Like I don't put milk in it. I just put a good gob of butter. And I'm putting a good, real good one now because there's lots of craft dinner. I just put butter. Bit of black pepper and the seasoning mix. And I know you can cut up hot dogs and put them in. Kids don't like it that way. They like hot dogs and they like craft dinner. And those buns that I took out of the freezer were 50% off, of course. I put them right in the freezer when we got them. So there's that. ketchup on their craft dinner and some of them don't. And I know I made a lot of hot dogs, but we can always heat those up in the microwave or cut them up and put them in and stuff. Like, not great for you, but 
they don't have them all the time, and it's something they'll eat. What do you need, Mace? Mm -hmm. I know you're hungry. It will be ready soon. I like you. You have something. It's going to take longer if you keep harassing me about it. <coughs> they only had a full lunch kettle today. Oh, I got my bowl. All those hand movements from Sandin today. I tricked my watch into thinking I was walking. Fool! Were you standing the walls of the dining room? No, the walls in the piano room. The what? The playroom, piano room. Oh, the, oh yeah, those. The white parts where we're going to paint? Yeah, like the baseboards and yeah. that like, door for everything. Yeah. All right, do you want your hot dogs and buns or? Buns. All right, you got to shut that door. Yeah. Because we're not heating the outside. When are you going to? When are you going to paint that part that's by the stairs that you did? I don't know. Maybe after I do Mazaya's room, but that's not a priority. Maze, do you want your hot dogs in a bun or cut up? With the blob? One in a bun and one cut up. One in a bun and one cut up? I want it in a bun. Okay, but do you want one cut up too? Is that what you said? Actually, I don't know. Make an executive decision. Cut up. Okay, both or one? Both. Okay, with a blob of ketchup. I'm just going to have to I'll have a blob of ketchup. A blob of ketchup. I'll give you two cut up, and then you got some craft dinner, and you'll have... Is this mine? Yes, it is yours. Okay. I got one of those 50% off strawberry drinks, carbonated strawberry drinks for filling up the wood box. I'll get the 50 Like the good little angels you are, Mays. Obviously. Obviously. 50% off. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. So much food goes to waste, you might as well take advantage where you can. We're still giving money to the man, but we're still keeping some in our pocket. As long as it's good. Do you want ketchup on your craft dinner, Maze? Uh, yeah. Alright, I'll just do a little bit. I know. <laughs> this looks like a bumpkin gourmet supper. <laughs> Looks like dogs and crack. Okay, uh, Mace, um, boots up. If you don't take those dang boots off and put them in the porch, you're not getting no grub. I'm not even joking, it's right there. See? Go, Misha, I'm serious. You're not getting them until your boots are off. Say butt again. Say butt one more time. Butt cheeks. Butt cheeks, yeah. Right. Now Misha will want mustard on her hot dogs. Yours. I'll do Zoa. Well, no, I'll do Misha's now because she's right here. If you want the mutab, get it out of the refrigerator. Right there. Yes, it is. Do you want any ketchup on your craft dinner? Um, by the way, we're no. skating on Friday. We're skating on Friday. Um, are you not skating today? Maybe? Not this Friday, I no. Know. Don't. Maybe. <laughs> that looks like I know just what I'm doing. Look at that zigzag right across the dogs. <laughs> mm. The dogs. Dogs. Bon appetit. All right. Now, Messiah is the opposite. She likes ketchup. She 
doesn't like mustard. So. Yeah, this was a good idea. There's enough there. My Marquise needs any when he gets home. Sometimes he goes in town with Kara, like on a Friday, because he doesn't work weekends. But. And she does like craft dinner with ketchup. bunch. Messiahs. There. Supper. All right, guys, we're going to open that box. This is from our friend T Tara or Tara. T-A-R-A-H. Tara? Tara. Well, it could be pronounced either way. Um, my teacher's in... name is Tara. Yeah. Tara do say. She's been my English teacher. Oh. Maybe she's been some bias with this day. There's a lot of do set. Teacher, careful with that. I think careful, there's only careful. two. Careful, careful. I think there's only two do sets. I used to have one of the two teachers. Of course, you're going to go right in front of the camera. Violet. Oh, I think I've had two teachers in the past. Don't you even think about it. All right. We gotta get up close because we gotta show everybody. you want. I hope I sent enough. Oh. Merry Christmas. Oh. God bless. We should have with love. Well, That's okay. we didn't know. With love from my family to yours. Oh, we love you too. Thank we love you, you too. Oh, is that the only thing that's Yeah, happened? I'll I'll lay all this stuff out after and show you guys. Can we all get some like, we'll chocolate? Oh, that'll be good. Yeah. You can use that yeah, for hot chocolate and when you're done you can look at these. Okay. Kind of like the LOL one, but then... Oh wait, these are And we got a Christmas card, you guys. These are I'll chocolate. show you in a minute, you guys. Oh, chocolate. And then... It's chocolate. The Christmas card, the little note says, I just wanted to let you know I love watching your channel. 
Uh, I had to take a break from YouTube, but I'm back watching and wanted to wish you and your family a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from Pittsburgh, PA. Merry Christmas, wishing you a happy home and a full heart. God bless, Tara. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, look, do, you, do you see that mini Uno? Yes, a little tiny Uno. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. There's too much. Too much. There's erasers, but they Misha, now. Misha, they go okay. on the back of Pepsi. Misha, look, look, look. I saw it. Uh, hot chocolate? you know what this is? I don't know. Yeah, oh, it is hot chocolate. What is this? Oh, we could use it. Oh, so you can make cheese. something like these, like that. There's one. Try. Wait, those? There. They're, they're money chocolate bars. They're chocolate bars. They're oh, my goodness. Also a chocolate coin. Oh, and a butterfly. Huh? Oh, there's oh, a butterfly maze. I've seen these before. Grammy Judy. Grammy Judy, yeah. I gotta... I'm going to move you guys back because we're all kind of cut off. Ooh. They're all trying to show you stuff all at the same time. Chocolate bars. Okay. Some more chocolate. 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 Wow. This is amazing. Merry Christmas. Those are the erasers. Oh, the erasers fell out. Yeah. Their heads bring. Oh, Christmas pencils. You can sharpen a couple and bring them to school with you. Yeah. Ooh. Remember when you said this? Oh, this is about my mom. Oh, scrunchies. Oh, yeah. About my hair, hair elastics. Wait. Hair elastics. They're hair elastics? Yes. Yeah, they're scrunchies. All right, I want you guys to lay it out all on the floor so I can actually show these guys because it was too much of a flurry frenzy. Okay? We could use this on the, um, Christmas Eve to wake up hot chocolate. We could. I'm opening this right now. No, just a minute. We're going to lay it all out so I can show these guys well, these wonderful presents. Can I get all these? That was sent. I need some of the oh, those are cute. Lint. Wow. Yeah, you guys are in charge of laying it all out, and then we can look at it, and it won't be such a hubbub. I always do like a good hubbub, but this is getting a little crazy. Are we doing it that way? It doesn't matter. Just it can be an all mismatch of things. I don't know what it is. All right, they're all laid out just about. So. First and foremost, here's the beautiful cards. Look at that. We'll have to make up a story about this one. And then this little one, Mary. To you, it says. And then the kids each got a nice soft pair of socks. Or maybe I, I could wear one. them for myself. I know. I no. Stockings. Some, they're not stockings, they're socks. Some Christmas pencils. Some Christmas lollipops. There's a hat. I'm not quite sure what this is. I think you shape it like you. I'm not sure, but we'll figure it out. Some hair elastics. I thought, oh, that's a different. Airplane, foam airplane. Two Bakugans. That's fantastic. Bakugans. All right. And then some chocolate coins like we're rolling in dough. Scrooge McDuck. Some lint uh, chocolate snowmen. Four packs of hot chocolate. We'll save these for Christmas Eve. Violet got some flavor snacks. Treat them for the holidays. Fantastic. We're gonna save these for Christmas Eve too. They're hot cocoa bombs filled with mini marshmallows. Fantastic. Some bead making, bracelet making kit. I will get to it just a minute. Some paint supplies, canvases and little paints. Two beautiful butterflies. Let me get over here. This little pinball game. This little Uno, Misha's dying for me to show you. Little tiny Uno game. <laughs> no, I'm right going to take now. a picture of it. Whoa, Two Bakugans, which is fantastic. 
Um, what is this? Oh, it's a nativity one. A felt finger puppet kit. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes, you make finger puppets out of it. This little squeaky toy. I don't know what you do. Press, press and hold the nose. Oh, <laughs> it's like a balloon animal. All right. What are these? Chocolate? Yeah, like little chocolate bars. Nice. We can say that for um Christmas Eve because there's four those. Yeah. Um, money. A paint kit. Some, money. Some cute little Christmas erasers for those Some. pencils. Some money chocolate. You could give those to us for actual Christmas. Oh, Just well. We'll see. Stockings. We'll see. Oh, wait. It's I don't do the stockings, and Misha. A uh, little Jenga well, tower. Um, tower. Oh, well, what kind of jacket? There's some scrunchies, some that's, more hair elastics. Just what, a minute, Mace. And some headbands. And this adorable little notepad with a little pen. Pen? Yeah, that's yeah. a pen. And then some more chocolate coins. Another little notepad. Crystal unicorn. Grows like magic. Oh, it must be one of those there's, things that you put in water. Smaller. There's like stuff on the side of it. Okay. Mini carnival pops. Oh, they're lollipops. <laughs> they're like little squirrels. That's cute. Yes, it's tiny, Misha. A little tic-tac-toe Christmas game. Four dollar bill. Look, she's smelling. She must smell her treats over there. Uh, Christmas dollar bill chocolate bars. These cookies. Little Dutch made holiday shaped shortbread cookies. Ooh, shortbread. I love shortbread. Oh, three LOL notepads. The instructions are like... It's just like Crazy Eights. I don't know what that is. We're going to save I, these to go with yeah, Christmas yeah, Eve, to go with the hot chocolate and stuff over there. The and then these, oh, those Grammy Margot really likes the chocolate with cherries in them. Um, but, yeah, some more chocolate. So, what do we say to Tara and her family? Thank you. Thank you. Well, look at, look at her and say it. Thank you. <laughs> For goodness sake. Wow, this is amazing. Amazing. Oh, it's exciting. Like an early Christmas present. Yeah, you can give her one of those treats, Zaya. Let's see what they look like. Oh, Violet. Merry Christmas to you, too. She knows. Oh, just a minute. All right, we got to see what they look like. They're, yeah, they're oh, she knows. Oh, they are. Can I give her two? Yeah, well, let's see what they look like. Oh, they are tiny, aren't they? Color. She's getting some really tiny stuff. Well, you like tiny stuff. Oh, yeah. No. That's enough, Violet. You already had a couple treats today. Yeah. She's just excited. She's oh. excited. All this so like gloriousness. Where's that? I need her to sit. Oh, good job. <laughs> yeah, it's so tiny. <laughs> okay, we're figuring out what this is. It's like a helium balloon. It copies what you say, and then it says it back like in a helium voice. So, oh yeah, hemorrhoidal suck navel. Look at her. I do. I convinced her to eat it. Oh. Hemorrhoidal suck navel. And then you press it. <laughs> isn't that funny? It's kind of like um, Talking Tom. Like Talking Tom. Yeah, that's what it's like. No, it's well, like. Isn't that neat? It's like those Hatchimals. How you can record it. Oh, yeah, like Hatchimals. Yeah, that's right. Oh, wow. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Florida thank you. Island. Thank you. These guys are all wound up about it. Oh, what a yes. what a great way to kick off the weekend. Oh, 
Merry Christmas, Violet. And it's definitely getting me more into the Christmas spirit since this room's almost done and I can bring down Christmas stuff and start decorating and Is having a good, bright good time. All right, these guys are playing a game of Uno. Okay. Um, you put your green cards down. All right, friends, my husband just got home and he went to Costco before he got here, so I'll show you what he got. He got a box of chicken, not chicken, cheese strings for lunches, two boxes of those good egg rolls that look like spring rolls, They're really good for their, for suppers, two buckets of wings. I asked him to look for some beef and broccoli stuff because I can't get it here anymore. Um, and he brought back a whole bunch, so that's awesome. I needed some for New Year's Eve, uh, you know, big buffet and stuff. I mean, I won't use all that, but that's awesome. Great. A thing of bacon. I think there's three, four packs of bacon in here. Frosted Flakes. Apple cider vinegar with the mother. Organic. Got a big thing of onion powder, a big thing of garlic powder, and some recycle bags and some clear bags. So that's what he got, which is wonderful. And just while I'm at it, when Dad was out today, he brought this. This is Marquise's uh, Christmas present, he said. <laughs> a level. And Misha was all excited when my husband got here. She made him a bookcase like the one she made the other day for herself. But she was so creative. Look, she used little safety pins instead of tape to tape the paper. So here's a bookcase for my husband's books. And she used like scrap booking paper. Uh, there, not on the back, but I mean, that's up against the wall anyways. Isn't that cool? I think so. Anyways, no, I'm gonna put this stuff away and go unload my phone. All right, I'm just about to end this, but um, Misha put a safety lock on her door you gotta punch in enter password and we punch in i can't tell you what the password is yeah and, and then, then that's yeah and then but yeah she has the keypad there there's a space bar that's the enter or the delete if you make a mistake and that's them yes so yeah her room's all sophisticated and high tech now Mm. And it even has a skeleton yeah. keyhole. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, it's about 8.30 at night. I'm going to get the kids ready for bed here in a little while. And I have this video edited up until now. So, I'm going to end it and uh, we'll start fresh again tomorrow. And, yeah, I might take a trip to town tomorrow because I want to get some more paint. Just looking at my bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> I think I got some sort of bug. I don't know. It must have been contagious. Spreading from one room to the next. Oh, just a minute. All right. 15 minutes later. Let's try this again. Thanks for hanging out with me today. <laughs> Violet, look at... Well, come here then. For goodness sakes, pushing on the door with your nose, wiener. Well, you want to say bye too? Anyways, thanks for hanging out with us today. It was nice hanging out with Dad. He's helping me out a lot and I'm learning a lot of things. I'm making good memories too, you know what I mean? Just, and I think he's, I mean, not necessarily having fun, but... Feels like he's helping me out, which he is tremendously, so I'm thankful. And Violet, what? All right, guys. Well, I do plan on filming tomorrow. Um, the kids will be home all day. I might take a trip to town because I didn't get a chance to go to the superstore this morning. I was in such a rush to get back here before Dad got here. And just the way it went. Just the way it went. So, anyways, I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. I was about to snap at her for licking the bathtub. Don't even think about it. 
All right, guys. Well, with that, I'm going to say have a good night or have a good morning. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Boink.